So many students may have this doubt that when is the best time to attempt a series because you will see your friends start attempting the series and you have not yet attempted the series and you might feel a bit of FOMO. I do understand there is a bit of FOMO and the best time to attempt the series is right now actually because you will never be like I know few students who say that sir uh, I, I think I will revise a bit of network then I will attempt the series. I will revise a bit of uh, AC portion, then I will attempt the test series. You will never be fully prepared actually. That's the point of test series. You will never be fully prepared. If you are fully prepared, then what's the point of attempting the test series? You will never be fully prepared, like, just like your gate exam. In gate exam, you will never be, never be able to remember all the formulas. Some formula will go out of your head. And that's, uh, that's understood. Okay, that is understood and that will happen. So, don't attempt the series just like before. Uh, don't attempt the series. Uh, after you have just finished revision. No, that is not the best way. Attempt a series with an open mind. You may have watched some other subject lecture and you went on to directly attempt, attempt, attempting the test series because in your actual examination, you'll have 10 to 12 subjects in your head and you'll go with an open mind. Okay. So that kind of uh, habit you should build from now itself. So please don't delay your test series further. This is the month of September. You should not like, you don't have to attempt the mock test right now, at least attempt the topic wise test because you will be able to understand where is your lacking areas, which uh, things are you lacking, which topics you need to revise. If you don't attempt a series, trust me, you will never be able to understand what you, you need to revise. So it's a like a positive, uh, uh, positive feedback. So after you attempt a test series, then only you will understand where you lack. So the topics that you lack. You will study those, then again you will come back and attempt the test series and you will see your marks are improving. Otherwise, you will not be able to solve it. Right? Like Otherwise, this will be a very bad strategy that sir, I will attempt uh, just at December. It's okay. Few students who have attempted just, just at December, there is no problem. They have got good marks, good ranks. But we have to pick a broader sample size. And a broader sample size says that if you start attempting your test series, no need, no need to attempt mock test just attempt topic wise test 30 minutes right okay you can start slowly start attempting 30 minutes so the, the best way to be prepared right for attempting the series is at, at least you are done with a good portion of your gate pyqs and your class assignment problems if you are done with those things then you don't need to uh, like stop like you don't need to worry you can start attempting the series okay that is the best thing and even if you have not covered all the gate pyqs right at least you have covered a major portion, let's say from 2015 to 2025. That is still a good number. So you can start off with attempt, attempting the test series because you have to understand why do you uh, like lie around your competition. And that will give you a true picture what is happening, whether you are preparing in the right direction or not. If you don't attempt the test series, you will not get a feedback. Because if we study a topic, right, we don't get a feedback whether we have understood the topic or not. After we attempt the questions on the topic, then only if you are able to solve it, then we say, okay, we have understood the topic. That's why we are able to solve the question. So there needs to be a proper, proper measure of whatever you have studied. You are able to replicate in the actual exam or not. It is just like sports, right? In sports, there are practice matches. In practice matches, someone gets 100 marks, 200 marks. If they don't do practice, right? 100 runs, 200 runs. If they don't do practice, they directly go into the actual match, they might mess up because in practice match, the environment will be like in England, the environment will be rainy. Okay. Bowler will bowl. There will be some swing. So he will practice, right? There will be good practice. Even if he gets out there, there is no problem. But in the main match, as he has already sensed the pitch, he knows the weather, he knows the environment, he will be able to perform better. So similarly in gate as well, you have to follow this uh, thing that you must uh, practice more and more. The more you practice, the better you will be okay in your final gate examination so if you have any more topics that you need uh, like strategy or help uh, so prefusion is always there to help you so please put those things in the comments below and we will be answering all of your queries okay so that's it from this video i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have please hit the like button i will see you in the next video until then happy learning